Visibility was hazy on Tuesday, March 30th, when SpaceX's latest Starship prototype, SN11, took to the skies over Texas following a 24-hour delay. However, that was not the first time the test had been postponed. On Friday, March 25th, SpaceX hoped to conduct the test flight after replacing one of the craft's three Raptor engines. The launch was eventually postponed until Monday morning and then finally happened early Tuesday morning when the Starship SN11 rocket launched at 8 a.m. local time from SpaceX's Starbase test site near Boca Chica Village in South Texas. The launch of SN11 was the fourth major flight test of a Starship rocket which ended in a massive explosion once again. Despite the heavy fog in Boca Chica that day, the SN11 lifted smoothly. At one kilometer in altitude, we can see that one of the engines caught fire in an area where it was not supposed to. Elon later confirmed through a tweet that Engine 2 in fact had issues on the ascent. Elon tweeted, Looks like Engine 2 had issues on ascent and didn't reach operating chamber pressure during landing burn, but in theory, it wasn't needed. At 4 kilometers in altitude, the exhaust underneath the Starship appears brownish, but that should not be a concern since methane can burn on a brown side. Also, during liftup, the Starship often moves dust from the ground, and it is not far from the truth that the dust, coupled with the thick fog, created the contrast. By the way, if you like our content, then show us some love and remember to subscribe to our channel, FutureFile, to watch more fascinating videos about such amazing futuristic tech. It cannot be denied that even on a foggy day, the SN11's onboard camera provided us with some spectacular views. However, the SpaceX headquarters were unable to receive most of the camera feeds. These were wireless transmissions, and anything that is wireless is prone to drop out. Shortly after, one of the three Raptor engines is shut down. Now, for a little information, the three Raptor engines are switched off one by one to enable the rocket to perform a successful and novel horizontal descent akin to that of a skydiver. Once the engine is shut down, the other two engines take on the responsibility of pushing the rocket upwards by maintaining the same velocity. At 8 kilometers in altitude, the second engine is turned off and the SN11 is slowly climbing to the final altitude of 10 kilometers in altitude on the sole power of the single Raptor engine. And this is when the screen freezes and turns black for almost a full minute. On the other hand, the third Raptor engine was shut down as planned. The SN11 reached an altitude of 10 kilometers and had a successful belly flop maneuver. The SN11 can be seen at its slow and controlled descent down to the landing pad at Starbase, Texas. The SN11 passes through a beautiful view of the sky at around 5 kilometers in altitude. The view can be seen from the exterior camera of SN11 and it was indeed a beautiful morning. Around this time, the video seems to have been stable and we can see the belly flop maneuver in progress. Onboard cameras show the SN11 flapping its flaps above the cloud bank with a blue sky background momentarily before beginning its descent. Soon after, the camera switches to the inside of the engine bay after the SN11 has reached a distance of 2 kilometers from the ground. Similar to SN8, SN9 and SN10, we can see the Raptor engines gimbal out to make room for one another. The SN11 was then seen igniting one of the Raptor engines for the landing burn, but unfortunately, the camera freezes again and remains frozen for the remainder of the time. Seconds after, there was a loud boom on the audio, but no video to follow the sound. 88 seconds after the termination of the video, the MC of SpaceX broke in to terminate the broadcast and announced the loss of the craft. And for those uh, who just joined us, uh, uh, the frozen view we saw on the camera doesn't mean that we are waiting for the signal to come back. Starship 11 is not coming back. Don't wait for the landing. We can't possibly know if SN11 successfully fired each engine in succession since the video froze up immediately after the first engine was lit up. SN10 was the only other flight to attempt a three-engine fire-up, firing each engine in succession. While Elon had tweeted that something significant had happened to bring about the problems, it is not clear what the problem was. As per the tweet of Elon, something significant happened shortly after landing burn starts. Should we know what it was, we can examine the bits later today. With very little information provided, 
the public did what they are best at, speculate. Within the many speculations available online, one which I found somewhat true is that one of the Raptor engines might have had a thrust vector control failure and was locked into place right as the landing burn was supposed to fire up. This could have possibly led the SN11 towards failure. It is still uncertain whether SN11 collided with the ground, exploded in the air, or had its flight termination device triggered to destroy the vehicle before it hit the ground. But what can be certain about is, SpaceX definitely has big plans for Starship in the near future. Potential models of the Starship beginning at SN15 already contain a range of upgrades that may avoid similar explosions in the future. The company has also discussed the possibility of landing an unscrewed Starship on the moon as early as next year with a trip to Mars following a few years later. With SpaceX's straight failure for the fourth time, do you think there will be a successful flight and landing of the upcoming Starship SN15 anytime soon? Comment down below what you guys think about it. If you like this video, you may also watch our other videos on Starship SN11 shown in the end screen. See you there!